we are still on Jenkins. Today, we want to look at setting up a pipeline project. I want to go through a simple method of getting this done, right? And firstly, I want to tell you that just as we have with other applications, with Jenkins, there are plugins that make the all work or that make the functionality of Jenkins enhanced, right? There are plugins that enhances the functionalities of Jenkins. For example, State Reset, Restart Safely is a plugin I installed, right? And what this does is that it enables me restart, right? This system only when all jobs are finished. That way, there is no interruption to the flow of work. All right, so that's on that. So what am I going to do now? I want to quickly restart, right? Just to see how that works. And we can go into the business of the day. So that's restarting safely, right? So let's see what we have there. Then we'll go into the business of the day. So on to login. Okay, so I log in. Now we are here, right? So let's say for example, right? This is what we've been doing, right? We've been creating freestyle projects, right? So I might say, let me create a freestyle project and call it um, my Jenkins, my Jenkins, right? I said, this is a freestyle project. This is what we've been doing, right? It's going to be a simple project. Let me see. I want to pick up what? Let's pick up my repository. Let's say, let's use this private repository. Right, let's use our private repository. Put it in here. It's going to prompt me for my. It's going to prompt me for my. Okay, now it's prompting me for my credential. I put that in. Right, that's my GitHub credential. I want to come down here because I do not have a master branch. I have a main branch. In that project, I want to leave this place blank. Okay. I also want to, okay, my build steps. Let me add my build steps. I want to invoke top level Maven agent, Maven targets. So I want to, okay, because I installed, I installed. Maven on the CLI, so it doesn't give me the option because I just use sudo yum install, right? Maven, it doesn't give me the option to select that those drop downs that you might have, right? So I want to select my goal, right? So what goal do I want? So the first goal I want is to do a build, right? I want to do MVN install. So I just need to specify the goal. Then it specify MVN, right? So that's a goal. So I want to add another step. Let's say I want to add the next goal, which is MVN Sona Sona. So I say clean, right? Because of what I have up there, clean Sona Sona, right? I also want to do what? I want to look at another step, right? Let's say clean deploy, clean deploy. Okay, so I want to save, right? Because this is a project I've configured before. So there's no point going to the form.xml to configure again because everything will remain the same, right? 
So I'm just going to go ahead and apply, then save. This is a simple project, right? So a very simple project. So what I'm going to do now to be able to um, convert to pipeline, the first thing I need to do is to explore the options that we have here, right? So the options will include, uh, let's go to the dashboard and click on Manage Jenkins, right? Let's click on Manage Jenkins. Manage Jenkins, we want to come to Manage Jenkins to manage plugins. So I'm looking for, for available plugins. I'm looking for pipeline plugins, right? Pipeline. Let me select a couple that look interesting to me. Pipeline. Mm. And select pipeline. Select pipeline. Okay. Okay, I'll select convert to pipeline. This is what I need actually to convert that project. Let me see if I'll find anything else interesting. Pipeline project, okay. I think I'm fine with that. Uh, what else can I use? Pipeline, convert to pipeline. Let me see. Okay. Okay, I could take this as well. SSH pipeline steps, All right? Mm. Okay, let's look at this too. Let's look at this, All right? So this is a new one, 20 hours ago, All right? So let's see. So, so this is what I have. Let me install them without starting. So, so success. So let's go back to our dashboard, right? And let's see what we get from this project. Let's see my Jenkins. So let's see, this is a regular one. Let's just repeat, just to be sure everything has been correctly configured, right? Let's just do a quick build. Build now, it's a simple project, right? But with this, we'll be able to show how the convert to pipeline works, right? Making something this simple, right? So we can have it in pipeline form, okay? So let's see what happens with this build. Before we go into the main business of the day. Okay, this is a success, right? So now we can conveniently say, if this can work, right? If this project can work, then we can get the pipeline to work. So now we want to, you see, this convert to pipeline is new, right? This is the one we just installed. So this is what we want to work with. So let's say, let's open this project, right? This is the project. I want to convert this to pipeline, right? So when we convert to pipeline, what do you want to put? You want to put uh, my Jenkins, Jenkins pipeline, right? Let's say my Jenkins pipeline, my Jenkins pipeline, right? So what other options should we choose? Do we have a Jenkins file? No, we don't. So we just want to convert, right? We want this to convert to a pipeline project such that we'll have our project, right? We have a Groovy script automatically generated for us. So now let's take a look at this. You can see the IP address, right? If I want to copy it, okay? So you click on convert. Let's see what happens. So the conversion process has started. So while the process is on, let's look at what happens, right? While that is on, 
Let's see what happens. Okay, you see, it says site cannot be reached. However, what did you notice? You noticed that the IP address has changed. This is not an IP address. I don't know where this is coming from. But anyway, I have my correct IP address. I want to paste it here. Okay, so I've pasted the IP address, right? Then I click on enter. But anyway, did I ever copy it? So let me take this out and enter. Now we have the correct IP address. And what do we notice? My Jenkins pipeline, which we just created, right? Let's look at the build. You see, there's no build history. This is a new project on it entirely. So if you go to dashboard, you see that, oh, this is the original project we had, and this is a new pipeline project, right? So we want to come inside here, right? This is a new pipeline project. I want to scroll up a bit. We want to see what happens when we click on build now, okay? But before then, it's important we understand what has happened behind the scene. So if we go to configure, let's see what has happened, right? Do we see anything familiar? Do we see anything familiar? We see that the whole arrangement has changed, right? From what we had before, you see, we have a pipeline script that has been generated for us. See, a pipeline script has been generated from us, for us. And see, this is a pipeline script that has been generated. So look at the script. And see this commented, powered by info stretch. So you can see node, this is a groovy script, right? Node, this part represents the cloning from GitHub. This is a first view step, right? MVN install. This is a second view step, Sona Sona, and this is the MVN deploy. Okay. So you can see everything has been generated for us. Now it says the script is not approved and will not be approved on save. Modify the script to approve it on save or approve it explicitly. So do we want to modify it? There's no point. There's nothing to modify here. It's been automatically generated, right? So let's just see script approval configuration page. So it takes us to a different page, right? So something else has happened. You see, it takes us to that IP address that we don't know about. But anyway, we know our IP address. Let's copy it. So we we'll copy the IP address and we paste it here, right? So this is the IP address. We place that to approve the script, okay? So you can just come, oh, this is the groovy script. You want to approve it or deny, right? So this is the beautiful script that has been generated. This looks good to me, right? No matter how complicated your script, your, your build steps are, this will make it easy for you. So you want to click on approve. Right, so it's approved. Now that we've approved it, we want to go back to, okay, let's go back here. Now the script has been approved, right? We want to apply and save. Now that you've saved it, what else do we need to do? Let's look at, let's look at doing a build, right? Let's do a build, this is the project. Let's confirm that this is it my Jenkins pipeline, right? My Jenkins pipeline. So we click on build now, but I want us to see the display, right? Build now, right? So let's see what happens. Build is starting. So you see, build has started. You can see success here. Let's see what happens here. Oh, you see, in progress, let's see what happens. Still in progress. It's successful. So you can see the pipeline. 
this successful as well. So that's, that's a success. So we can see the build is complete, completed. So let's look at what has happened. You can see from GitHub, right? You can see the pipeline, right? You can see what happened. You can see all the steps. Packaging web app, okay, you can see. You can see all the steps. You can see the first step completed, build success, right? That's the MVN install. You can see, Sona Sona, MVN Sona Sona being executed, right? Then you can see and see all the steps, all the steps. Now you can see MVN deploy, clean deploy being executed. Okay, let's go to the bottom. You can see finished. This project is a success. So no matter how complicated your build steps are or post build steps are, this will make it simple for you. I hope you have, you've had a great time. So see you in the next session. Thank you.